All right, Vince, I'm on it. That ain't bad, man. Pretty good for an AK. Well, I'm good to go to the range at any time. It's really great when I'm going with one of my boys. Hit right on top, right there, man. Same hole. Man, all three touching. I'm just still amazed that you shot that group touching with your old eyes, man. <laughs> you know something? Some of my best ideas have been born right out of that gun smoke. Trick would be if we could get that kind of accuracy out of that AK. I got to tell you something. I think you could make that AK just as accurate as this rifle. It's designed to hit 1,000 yards. If you built the AK with the same attention that they build this, I think you could probably do it. AK-47 is widely known throughout the world as one of the most rugged, dependable assault weapons ever. It's fast shooting, goes bang every time you pull the trigger. It suffers from an inherent lack of accuracy. The typical sniper rifles are bolt action. It makes that follow-up shot very slow, you don't only have to shift your body position, and you lose target acquisition. So that's a problem. And it just hit me that, you know, if we could combine the capabilities of this bolt-action sniper rifle with that rugged, reliable, semi-automatic AK action, we'd really have something. You got an AK action, 1,000-yard accuracy, hard-hitting round. That'd be pretty handy in a sandy environment. If I'm going to war, I want to be a long way from that sucker because he might shoot better than me. Thousand yards every time I sit on my mountaintop, knock his earlobes off. I don't know, man. You think we can pull that off? You handle the barrel in. I'll handle the gas system. We'll work out the, the lock time and the trigger. Really? I thought there's no way that we're going to make this happen. But I guess we got to be guinea pigs and bravely go where no guinea pigs have gone before. You know there's a good reason why nobody's ever done a 1,000-yard AK. That's why you go to war, to find out who's going to win. I got a buddy, Mike. He uh, used to be a sniper in the Army. If we could put him behind the trigger on whatever we build, then we'd get an honest test of the rifle. Well, let's give him a call. Hello. Mike, well, hey. Hey, how you doing, bud? I'm good. Hey, tell me something. What would you say if I told you I was going to build a 1,000-yard AK? <laughs> I tell you, it's not possible. We're going to do it. I don't think you can do it. But if you build it, I'll check it out. If you prove me wrong, I'll take it with me overseas to show the boys. But you got to do it fast. I'll tell you what. Keep next Saturday clear. I'll have you out of the range, all right? And if we're not putting rounds on target out of 1,000 yards, I'll pay for your trip. Coffee's cheap, my friend. All right, I'll tell you what, you hold Saturday open. I'll put the gun in your hands. It's definitely not the money that we're throwing our head in the ring for. These will be going out to small units of our boys that are serving overseas. Well, that changes the game enough for me to want to do it. You don't want to see this. What the hell is that? We are going to make the world's first thousand yard AK. Holy sh! A Krieger? It's the finest match barrel in the world. What are we doing? Um, so, what we are going to do is we're going to keep that AK reliability, semi automatic function, and we're still going to have a thousand yard rifle. You want a thousand yard AK? You need to take the best design elements of each gun and bring them together. From the sniper rifle, we're taking the barrel, trigger, buttstock, scope, and combining it with the AK semi-automatic firing mechanism and rugged reliability. You do all that correctly, you got a thousand yard AK. We're using a match grade trigger, and I really don't care that that's not possible, but I want it happening. Okay, I can do that. Chris, I need you to get this barrel off of here, get it gutted. Yes, sir. Vince, I need you to start working on this new barrel, get the chamber depth set for this cartridge. You know what we're doing with this. Trying to get 1,000-yard accuracy out of an AK-47, kind of like trying to get Porsche cornering out of your 20-year-old four-wheel drive beater. All right, go forth. Be careful. You need a medic with a depth micrometer. That's why you don't need to say. If you can't, you. use. 
what we got here at hand, then you need to pack tools, okay? Because this sh is simple. It's this sh sh is simple. If this stuff was easy, somebody would have already done this already. Don't look for ways to make this sh complicated. It is already complicated enough. It's a pretty straightforward procedure. All Vince has to do is measure the depth of the chamber, determine the depth you want, trim the end of the barrel to get it. No need to turn it into a three-day project. We're not going to get match accuracy. With yes, kind of we well will, and I will stand by my statement. That's your gap, period. I give him work and I pay him. He'll do what the f he stole. His project, I'll do it his way. The challenge for me on this AK sniper build is going to be the trigger system. What I'm trying to do is achieve a faster lock time with my trigger. Lock time is the time it takes between the trigger actually releasing the hammer and the hammer striking the firing pin, which then ignites the bullet. What I'm testing for with the high-speed camera is to see if my trigger is faster than a factory trigger. What do you need? Oh, yeah. So I can put some pressure on There we go. That's all I need. I'm going back down. Can... All right, thank you, Chris. Vince did a great job getting the barrel prepped and mounted into our AK sniper. Now we have to get the forearm set and the buttstock mounted, and we'll be able to test fire. You'll have that forearm cut by then. We'll be able to make a final fit. All right. We are racing against the clock here, trying to turn an AK-47 into a sniper rifle. You want a 1,000-yard AK? You need the right barrel to shoot it out of. We're going with a Krieger match barrel and a handmade, custom, fully adjustable trigger. So if this gun works as advertised, it's going to go twirly, twirly, bang, bang. That is what we say, twirly, twirly. So if we pull this off, that would mean a lot to me personally. It shows a capability that hasn't been seen, gives us a good spotlight out in the industry. And I got to tell you, a thousand yard semi-automatic rifle, well, that could come in handy to a few guys that are serving overseas. What the hell is my screws on? Sky's the limit, boys. We pull off this AK sniper, I got high hopes for us. What I'm testing for with the high-speed camera is to see if my trigger is faster than a factory trigger. That looks much better. To give a semi-automatic AK the capabilities of a bolt-action sniper rifle, we really have to get that lock time down. I reduced the lock time from 8 milliseconds down to 6.2 milliseconds. Nice. You mind if I watch? No, let's hang out. First test firing is just that, testing it to see if it'll fire. We had to do a lot of work with this barrel. If we made any mistakes, this is where it'll show. All right, hold and firing. Well, that's a tight group. I grew my ass. I bet. The first two stack, then it just kind of went off into the freaking sunset. What do you think your problem is? I don't know. Oh, there's something hinky in his mount with a scope. Well, that whole thing's shaking. Oh, crap. That ain't, that ain't good at all. That might be why he sights off. <sighs> Get it to Joe. Tell him that's his monkey. On it. This thing's on the range, 9 o'clock in the morning. What? This mount sucks. The screw fell out. Well, obviously the screws aren't tight. The scope on the AK sniper is huge, so it's causing a lot of strain on the mount, and we're getting some movement when the gun fires. So I just need to stiffen it up some, some set screws, or maybe some other bracing. I'll put some set screws in it, and we're gonna tighten that. All right. They'll be ready to roll. Good luck. All right, man. Says you're ready. Yes, yeah, so we put it through paint. Joe said he got the mount fixed. 
Well, that's good. I say for shoot good. Yes, sir. That six. I was counting five. Excellent. Okay, five rounds in one jagged hole. Even if it is just 20 yards, this gun's ready to take out to the field. Whatever he did, he did it right. You ready? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. You know, as much as I hate Will proving me wrong, and that doesn't happen that often, um, you know, we really pulled off what I thought was the impossible here. We took an AK 47. Fitted it with a target barrel and installed a match grade trigger system, making it the very first Red Jacket AK sniper. Dude, look at it, man. It's like a miniature Barrett. A miniature Barrett? I'm almost the size, it, so it's mini. I mean, it's like glass breaking. It's just, it's so smooth. I really like that scope. That's what was my main concern. I wanted to get something thing short has and such crisp. A beautiful flow. I love the stock too, and the eye relief on the scope with this cheek piece. Both eyes open with the scope, no yeah. problem at all. Perfect. I'm ecstatic with it. I've never seen anything like it on any rifle, much less an AK. You happy with the trigger? Very happy with the trigger. Right right earlier. All right, a shooter ought to be able to do something with it. We have got an appointment tomorrow with a real shooter. We're meeting Mike out at the range today. He's a good friend of mine. He spent the last five years training snipers for the United States military and about 10 years before that doing the job himself. If there's anybody who can determine if we've got a world-class rifle and one that's ready for real-world use, he's the man. I wouldn't mind shooting it, too, with this scope. Mike! Good to see y'all. How you doing, man? My heaven gracious. Gentlemen? That gun is just bark and fear me. <laughs> yes, sir. This is what it started as. Well, the butt stock, fully adjustable. We shortened up the gas system. It let us free float this barrel. Military snipers shoot between heartbeats. You don't want any surprises when you pull the trigger. Lock and load. Gun is hot. We're meeting Mike out at the range today. If there's anybody who can determine if we've got a world-class rifle, he's the man. All right, let's see where that thing is. When you want to test the accuracy of a weapon, the idea is how close together those bullets are. Well, looks like we're one, two, three. Good Lord, you got one on top of the other. It's two in the same hole. Let's stretch right. this bad boy out. Dexter. Now we're going to put him up in the tower and stretch this gun out. All right, Mike, there's a car park. I suspect somebody's using that for cover. We've got a couple of targets set up downrange for Mike. First one's just for him to prove the rifle. Second one's more of a cherry on top. Give him a little extra bang for the buck. Right, there he is. I got him. He's outside the vehicle, passenger side in the back. I got to go through the windshield. All right, here again. Don't you want it? That's like you finally man. got it, Mike. That's awesome. Mike landed his shot dead center of the kill zone. I'd say the gun and the shooter worked great. The weapon operated and performed well past my expectations, and it performs magnificently. <laughs> a good time. It's still burning out there, and that was a good day, bro. A good day. Yeah, we're going to have to get the trucks out there pretty soon. <laughs> 